So here is the BBT Bumblebee system deployed in a field. You can see it's a two-way system. So there's two holes, one inbound, one outbound. And so the bees returning will come through a hole. There's a trap door that closes behind them. And then they have to leave through the right hole. And this is where the, the product is actually located. So you can see here, here's a bee leaving the system. And as you can see on its legs, it has our product. So that's a vectorite with CR7 that will be deployed into the field. And it just lightly covers their leg and a little bit of their body so that it doesn't impede their flying. So in this shot, you can see how a hive will arrive to your field. Each one of these boxes contains four hives and each hive can grow up to three to 400 bees. So when you get these hives, the first step will to be, you will have to open up the hives and you'll have to put in a new tray. So you can see here, you simply peel a tray off to reveal the powder. You'll open up the top of the hive to reveal the flip lid. And then you simply have to place it in. And you close it up and then reveal the blue door pull it up and make sure that both holes are displayed. So you'll need to make sure that there's the inbound and outbound hole open. This blue door can also be closed if you're gonna be spraying any pesticides. So in this shot here, you can actually see the bumblebees leaving through the tray. So as they walk through the tray, they'll pick up product onto their legs and to their bodies. And each tray is specifically filled with a certain amount of product. So this is so that the bees can maximize their payload without struggling to get through the product. The bees will also pat down the product, they'll defecate within the powder. Uh, and this is why we have to change the trays three to four or every three to four days. Um, this keeps the product fresh. Uh, it also replenishes any product that the bees have used. So, and lastly, you'll put the hives out into your field. We place them on a pallet and underneath a tent to protect from the elements. And then we put them evenly around the field so that you get a maximum dispersal around the field um, and increase all the CR7 throughout the bloom.